What's up guys, uh, Nate Richards here from Richards Guitar Studio and uh, www.ultimateguitartraining.com We're working on the site now, if you're interested in, in uh, becoming a member just go to richardsguitarstudio.com and send me an email. I wanted to talk a minute about uh, open position chords and about how to change them. That's one of the things that I think a lot of students and a lot of teachers have problems with in the beginning and in intermediate stages of getting uh, not only students to memorize the chords but really it's the changing within a progression in time that that becomes an issue. I want to give you a couple tips on that real quick. Um, <clears throat> the first is I call it leading with a strong finger. We tend to want to always use the first finger first. So for example this one comes up a lot on the C chord uh, and teachers you'll notice your students doing this a lot where they'll place the first finger first lead with that finger and then the second and then the third. So uh, what happens is, let's say I'm coming from a G chord here, and then I go to a C chord, the, the strong finger moving first is going to look like this. Like that. Rather than all of them moving together. So the way that I try to get a student to do that is to shoot for the third finger first, even though it's the weak finger. So you want to lead with the weak finger in this example. Like that. And the reason for that is once you get that third finger over there, the other two tend to just fall right behind it. All right, it's a lot easier than having the first, second, third all reaching out from one another. Also, this doesn't promote a very good hand position because then you get real heavy on the first finger and then you have to reach over for the other ones and the students tend to do that. So if you can get that third finger all the way across here, uh, the fingers tend to fall down uh, in order. Alright, uh, so, so uh, the next one is the D chord. Uh, again, a lot of times people will put down the first finger first, then the second finger, and then the third finger is thrown all the way out here, and then they have to jump back for it, and usually that makes them late on the rhythm. So, for example, again, uh, let's say I'm coming from a G chord. And my third finger is sitting right here. So, what happens is that the first finger goes second, and I move this all the way out, and I have to jump back, and I'm late. Like this. Like that. That doesn't really promote good rhythm. So, if I could get that third finger over there first, leading with the weak finger, I think that can make a more effective progression. Now there I'm hammering it on so you can hear my finger move. Like that. So uh, it, I think if you focus on doing that, on focus on getting the third finger on the C chord and on the D chord, it's going to make those progressions a lot more effective. Um, so, uh, so the, the next thing I'm going to do, the next video is going to be uh, on the rhythm progression on how to actually use whole notes and half notes and quarter notes in order to get you to where you want to go. But I think the first thing you want to focus on is that, is actually how do you present your hand to the chord. All right? You can even practice doing them on individual chords. So if I'm going to practice my C chord, I'm never going to put my first finger down first. I'm always going to start 3, 2, 1, and then I play the chord. If I'm learning my D chord, I'm always going to start with the third finger, and then these can kind of come down simultaneously. Sometimes students might have problems pulling that second finger back. All right, so if your third finger is down like this, it might take a minute to get back there. That's okay. Just keep doing that, and, uh, and you'll get it. You'd rather do it that way and build up the finger independence than, than uh, you know, enabling yourself to be late, basically, by doing that. All right? So good luck, try that out. Do, do a uh, G, C, G, D progression. Four beats each. And keep repeating that. That's like a Brown Eyed Girl. I think it's similar to the Joker. Um, there's a lot of songs that use that progression. All right? But first starting with leading with the weak finger, then getting into your progressions. All right, good luck. Mm -hmm.